the Office of Elementary Reading and Integrated Literacy. My name is Gabrielle Shekels. And I'm Lindsay O'Keefe. And we're excited to share with you our top 10 tips for reading with your child. Let's get started. Number 10, let your child see reading in your life. Let them see you read books, magazines, newspapers, anything that you have in the home. Number nine, visit the public library often. They always have the latest and greatest titles. The librarians are always willing to help you find some great books and they have an excellent return policy. <laughs> Number eight, read aloud using different voices for the characters and bring the story to life. Number seven, take advantage of waiting times. Carry a book in your handbag or backpack or keep a small collection in your car. You can always take advantage of waiting times, whether it's at a practice, a doctor's office, even at a restaurant. Number six, read as you ride. While it might not fit the traditional model of reading aloud, listening to an audiobook or playing an oral word game like the alphabet game while you're driving to school engages your kids with oral language, letters, and words. Number five, look for snippets of time in your family routine. Story time doesn't always have to happen at bedtime. When my girls were young, I often would read to them as they ate breakfast or took a bath. Reading helped keep them sit still. In fact, even at 10, my daughter still asked me to read a chapter or two from whatever novel we have as we have breakfast. Of course, this doesn't usually happen on those busy school mornings. Number four, movie version coming out? Read the book together before going to see the movie. Then discuss which you liked better and why. We usually think the book was better. Number three, ask questions. Engage your student with questions before reading to get them excited. During reading to make sure they're understanding the text. And after to talk about all those big ideas. Number two, Read for lots of different kinds of meaning and texts. Fiction and nonfiction texts, magazines, newspapers, graphic novels, comic books, recipes, chapter books, picture books, online books. There is not any text out there that's not worth reading. And number one, reading can be done in many different ways and with many different texts. It is not one size fits all. Consider reading aloud to your child, sharing the reading, or checking in with your child about what they are reading.